A strange thing has gone on, hasn't it? Where the Department of Infrastructure Development was meant to be doing things. We spoke to the MEC Tasneem Mutara, and I'll refer to that a little bit later in the show. At uh, We did that, I think, on the 25th of June. And then suddenly the Premier steps in and says, nope, they're not going to handle this at all. He has to, by the way, uh, put something in the Government Gazette to enable that. W- what prompted him to act? Well, I think Premier Makura has to answer that question, to be honest with you. Yes. Um, he was due to have a press conference. In fact, his office advertised, put out a press release last night suggesting that he would address the media on this, and I believe that he didn't in the end. But I think, you know, as the Premier of the province uh, that is responsible for the second biggest hospital, uh, a 1,088-bed hospital whose closure is causing serious disruption and harm and loss of life, that that really he has to make himself available to answer these questions. But what I can say, John, and and I would be happy to be contradicted, is that I think that he has evidence uh, or he has been told that there is corruption in the Gauteng Department of Infrastructure uh, Development. Uh, I've suspected or uncovered what I certainly think is gross maladministration and financial maladministration over over many months. And he was told and he has been hearing about the suffering and therefore has stepped in and has uh, taken control and given it to Housing Health Department. He has actually issued this proclamation. There's a proclamation of the 10th of February, I think, uh, that does just that. But, you know, there's not a huge amount of confidence in the Gauteng Health Department either. Right. So taking it from one corrupted department and giving it to another corrupted department, I don't think will give peace of mind to either the doctors who work in that hospital or patients. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.